Welcome back to the channel, my name is Fergus and today we will be talking about constellations. The constellation we have today will be Leo, as it is April and the perfect time to look up to the skies and spot the Leo constellation. How do you spot the Leo constellation? Normally you look out for the shining star Regulus, then make it down your way, you'll find 3 stars that form a triangle. Now looking at this bunch of lines, you may wonder, what is Leo? Why is it Leo? Could it be a roaring fearsome lion? Or could it be a domesticated purring ball of fur? Well, let's find out by diving into the story of Leo. The Leo constellation like many others originated from Greek mythology. Leo the Neoman lion was a scary lion that terrorized the citizens of Nemea. It has fear that was impenetrable to all sorts of weapons, including those that are made out of iron, bronze, and stone. Leo would kidnap women from Nemea and keep them in his lair. Any brave warrior who tends to save the damsel in distress would then be attacked and eaten by the lion. Turns out, Leo was not such a good kitty after all. Hercules the demigod was then sent by King Eurystheus to slay the Neoman lion which will eventually become the first labor of Hercules. As mentioned before, the height of the lion is impenetrable to any weapon, therefore Hercules had to strangle the fearsome lion and eventually the lion died in his hands. All the captured women were set free, Leo was also placed in the heavens as one of Hercules' conquests. In the Leo constellation, we have the brightest star named Regulus. In fact, Regulus is not just a star, but a star system composed of four stars organized into two pairs. As a whole, the Regulus system has a magnitude of 1.35 and is the 21st brightest star in the observable night sky. Besides Regulus, we also have Danibola and Algebia, which makes up the second and third brightest stars of the constellation. The name Denebola is shortened from Denelas from the Arabic phrase as it represents the lion's tail. Algebra is a binary star system and the brightest star in the curve of the sickle. Both stars have a magnitude of 2.16. There are a lot more to discover in the Leo constellation, but unfortunately that is all we will be covering for today. If you would like to learn more about constellations or other stuff in the night sky, do leave a comment below. This video is brought to you by Plenty Outdoor Astronomy Club. Thank you for watching.